guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I need some water. So I have been um, away from YouTube for quite some time, just because I've been really, really unwell. Um, just like with the cold and flu and cough and sinuses and everything like that. And in pregnancy, your immune system is so low, you can't really fight anything off. So I've been struggling. Um, but anyway, I am full term in my 40th week, so I'm about to pop any time now. I packed my hospital bag probably about a month ago, but I just haven't been able to record it. Um, and I thought it'd be really, really handy for mums who have two babies, um, as well as new mums as well, because for those of you that don't know, I've already got one son called Yahya, and he is two years old. And for him, I literally packed everything um i took like something like three bags to the hospital it was a nightmare for, uh, for my husband so what i am packing this time is just like the bare essentials that i think you will definitely need if you are interested and um with me it's not a cesarean that i am booked in for i am booked in for a birth center birth which is something that i've planned for a long time um and inshallah inshallah everything goes well and you know, just do loads of du'a for me, please. So what, one of the first things that I would say is definitely write down a checklist. I'll put one uh, in the descriptions down below just because it's something that you just want to just go through and tick. Um, I literally just put it on like a piece of A4. Yeah, while I was packing my bag, I just ticked all the bits off. So it's really, really handy just to have it there on pen and paper, you can put it on your phone or however you like to organize life. So what I did do was split them to essential stuff that you definitely need to take with you. Things for baby, things for mummy, and things for daddy. And I think that's the best way to do it just so that you don't forget anything. And what I would highly recommend is to take a trolley suitcase, like one of those mini roll-on ones that you take in your hand luggage um, just because god forbid if anything happens and no one's there you don't want to be lugging around a big bag and i know everyone goes on about like getting a hospital bag um, and they go out and buy one and it's like this bag that you have to carry you're going to be nine months pregnant and if you're on your own at, or if you know anything happens you don't want to be lugging around this massive heavy bag so in my big bag i would have my items husband's items and baby items as well as the essentials um, and they would just be literally for the day um, so assuming that we stay the one night um, and i have everything for the baby for like 24 hours and because i do have little yahya i do need to have a bag ready for him as well and in that i would just have his kind of like a spare set of clothes a set of clothes for him to come um to the hospital in uh, some nappy nappies if they're still in nappies, some wipes and um, baby bottles or food or anything like that that are kind of like essential for him um, as well as like a toy or something so that when I do go into labour my sister will just come grab the bag, grab Yahya and then she can just you know go back to her place or take him out somewhere for the day um, and then that way is no faffing around, don't need to worry about him being dressed inappropriately because my sister has no idea how to dress children. Like if I showed you some pictures, it's just dire. So, and then lastly, I would pack another small little bag just for myself, Zahid and baby, just in case we do have to stay in the hospital for an extra few days. And that's mainly because I know what I feel comfortable in, like sleeping clothes and things like that. And I know what I'll be comfortable with baby wearing um, for those few days as well. So I would definitely recommend just to pack those just if you are, or yeah, if you don't trust your partner packing your outfits for you. Right, so with my hospital bag, I've laid everything out on the floor. Um, I will put a list down below of everything because there is quite a few things. But first of all, I start with the essential stuff. Um, this is my hospital note, so that's kind of what the hospital gives you. Um, and in the front, I've put in my birth plan, so I would just make sure you have a spare copy as well because you're midwife may change so I would just pop a spare copy in the front of that as well um, and keep that really safe I don't tend to put it in my bag I just keep it um, outside um, and then it depends where you're going but just check with the hospital what parking they have so I had to make sure that we got some coins because last time we didn't have any um, it's like £15 for the parking um, ticket for the day so I just made sure we had some uh, a note and some coins so that we could get some things from the vending machine if we needed to and if it was an emergency or whatever 
Um, we just had some cash with us because God knows no one carries cash these days. Um, the next thing was this really cool charger. So um, your battery will always run out because you'll be using your phone for your contraction app um, and playing music on. So I just got this from Amazon. It's just kind of like a battery pack and it's really helpful and handy. It just charges your phone really quickly as well. Um, I'll put a link down below of where I got mine from, but you can get them from literally everywhere. So if you do um, decide to take a camera with you, just don't forget to take a spare battery just in case. So the camera that I'm using now, I'm just gonna pack um, with us in our bag. I haven't brought it down here, but um, don't, don't forget to take your nursing pillow because you will be feeding baby straight away and you want something to protect you, um, protect your back and just give you a bit more support. Also a LucasAid sports drink is so helpful. They always tell you to keep your energy levels up and this is just something really good to keep you hydrated. Um, try and make sure you don't get the fizzy ones, just get the normal LucasAid sports drink. Um, and I just got the orange flavor. You can take more than one, uh, which is recommended, but I'm just taking one. Um, the energy tablets are so helpful. They help me so much throughout the first time and the second time I took them on Aurora Hedge as well. Um, really, really helpful and handy just to keep energy levels up again because it is a long process birth. After birth, um, fibre gel is really good. So I've packed two of these, um, high in fibre because you don't want to be constipated after you've just had a baby. Um, and that does happen. So just try and take something to soften your stool. Right, so you don't have to take this, but I always take a speaker with a um, with the charger. Um, it's a Bluetooth speaker, so it's quite good. I think I just got this from TK Maxx. Um, I'll put a link down below of which one it is, but it's really, really good um, and handy. You can just use your phone, but if you're using your phone for your contraction app, it just gets a bit too much. So it's just nice to have some music in the background just to keep you nice and calm and a charger just in case it stops working. Um, I would also highly recommend to take your own paracetamol because if you ask the midwives for paracetamol they can take some time um, and if you want it before birth and after birth it's quite important just to have a packet with you so you can just take them whenever really and you can monitor it yourself. Um, I also took some Zum Zum water and some dates. Date paste is kind of what we use um, with the baby right at the beginning when they're born so the husband just chews it, makes it into a little paste and puts a little bit at the top part of his palate. Um, and then the Zum Zum water is basically just for me to drink and make sure that I'm kind of hydrated and it's kind of purified water so I'm like, and holy water in a way. So it's good to just take um, and kind of cleanse your body while you're giving birth as well. So in my essentials, I am also packing presents for Yahya. So these are presents from baby to Yahya so that when he is introduced to baby, he kind of sees that baby's bought him some presents and just hopefully he can be a little bit happier. So this is all I've got for baby. So it's just for one day, so not much, but basically packed a swaddle. This is the same one that we took for Yahya, which is cute. Um, I've got a little muzzy, um, which I just got from TK Maxx. It's an Aiden and Anai one, so that's quite handy. Uh, socks and some mittens and a little hat, just in case he needs it or it's a bit cold in the room. Um, they tend to keep the rooms quite warm. Right, so I've also packed an undertop, so just a short sleeve one that I get from Gap. They're always so handy and they stay nice and white. And for outfits, I've basically got a small outfit, which is this one that I, it's just from Nex, so it's a really small one, and then a larger one, um, just a zero to three month, in case baby is a little bit bigger. And then we've just got a going home outfit, which my mum bought, which is a really nice and cute, just like a knitted one from Zara. Um, with a little star on so it's just quite nice to have a little outfit with them and because baby is a winter baby I do need to pack some kind of like jackets and stuff so I just got this one from Gap and with that is just a matching hat um, with a little bunny ears with the little bunny ears um, and then some matching little booties just to keep his little feet warm um, because his outfits are not that thick um, and it will be quite cold in November so um, inshallah this will keep him nice and warm. So I'm not actually going to pack this in the hospital bag, I'll put it in the push chair just because it just saves a bit of space and it's just something that you're not going to need in the hospital. Also obviously need to pack some nappies so I've only got um, about five or six for the day. Um, if you need any more the hospital will always have some so it's just um, essential to take your own just in case. Um, some diaper ointment, I always use the Burt's Bees one, it's just really nice and thick and it was great with Yakia so hopefully it will work with baby as well. 
And of course you can't forget water wipes. You can use cotton wool, but I just tend to use water wipes. It's the same thing, 99.9% .9 water. And that's about it for baby stuff. Uh, right, so mummy stuff is probably the most stuff because you've got pre-labour and post-labour. Um, so I would definitely think about what you want to wear during labour. Um, I always wear this black dress, which is kind of a long sleeve, really flowy black dress from Gap. And it's just really easy if you need to be searched um, or anything like that if the midwife needs to see you and I wear some like long socks with it which is quite handy and helpful um, just to keep you a bit modest and a bit covered up basically um, also suggest to pack some night outfits so I've just got this one with the buttons um, just really easy for breastfeeding after you've had baby and I love the jersey material so it's um, really really key for me to have like a really comfortable pajama bottom uh, with some furry little slippers so if you need to walk around the hospital um, it is all flooring so obviously it will be a bit cold um, and then this time especially I am definitely taking my nursing cover this is the mama moosh one that I live and die by it helps me in every situation you can use it as a scarf as well um, and it's just handy if you've got your dad or your brothers coming over you can still feed modestly and secretly and some uh, a going home outfit for me so I just got this grey kind of like outfit from Next which was really easy and obviously a maternity bra uh, bravado my favourite and some socks um, just to wear with my trainers on the way home so kind of taking you on to like other things um, these are kind of the essentials for mummy as well so this is a douche kind of a portable douche um you just put water in it and it sprays out the top which is really really handy for traveling um and especially after birth you want to be able to clean your bottom with water and what better way than to use that because you don't normally get them everywhere and we tend to have to use water bottles which isn't very good and then just some um breast pads uh, these are the reusable ones so I haven't tried them for you here um, so I'm just trying them for baby this time and I don't know how they're gonna be so I have also packed the Lansano ones um, that I know work and that are great for me um, the nipple balm I've got is the Earth Mama nipple butter it's organic and I know it's really good for baby so um, just not got any of the horrible stuff in it's all organic and it's really good for dry skin good to start wearing straight away um, my must to go to product the expert midwife spritz for bits which is great for after birth healing um, and that's something that i will use straight after birth so obviously after birth there's postpartum bleeding um, i don't use pads i use these kind of underwears things that you get from always uh, really really helpful and handy um, it just saves you kind of you know faffing around with knickers and things as well um, gentle water wipes just to freshen up myself if I need to and take off any makeup if I have anything on it's just very easy for me to use those um, and then I've got my makeup bag which has everything in it from toiletries to makeup um, but I haven't packed much uh, I'll go through that in a bit sort of at the end of the video hopefully um, and then just some things for Zahid so just in case we have to stay over which we probably will just um, one set of underwear and some pajamas because that's all he kind of needs um, toothbrush and everything I've packed in the other bag right so this is kind of what I put in my toiletry bag so not much at all um, but just a bit of toiletries and a little bit of makeup and this is just an Estee Lauder bag that I got free um, so toothbrush for Zahid and me and then just some toothpaste you probably can get a smaller toothpaste than that but anyway uh, body wash because I will be having a quick shower after um, and obviously deodorant and some dry shampoo which every girl needs um, and some gloves just to wash myself down with hairpins to keep my hair back because I just do like a little bun um, or something just to keep my hair out of my face um, because obviously I don't wear a hijab when I'm giving birth people so I basically just I'm taking a little bit of eyeshadow some blusher mascara lip liner um, an eyebrow kind of pencil thing from benefit which is all travel size so I actually do live and die by the Chanel CC cream um, it's always worked for me it's really good coverage and it just is great I think I use the color beige I think it's 20 beige I'm not sure um, really bad focusing in this video but trying to show you there not working <laughs> um, but the CC cream is great just to cover up and just give yourself a bit of a fresh look after birth um, and I live and die by this lip balm as well it's just literally a lip balm I found from Tesco and it is just 
super hydrating. So the last thing is the car seat and we got this Duna car seat which was really really helpful and handy. Just it turns into a pushchair which is ideal for us because we live in a lovely flat on the sixth floor. Um, but anyway I put all the blankets and his jackets and shoes and booties and hats and stuff in there as well um, just because I don't really need these things in the suitcase so it's quite nice and easy just to keep that in the car um, so when we're ready to bring baby home he's got everything to keep warm in. Right so that's about it I hope this video has been helpful and inshallah I hope your pregnancy and your labour go well um, and if you have any kind of ideas or things that you pack that were really helpful for you to put them do put them in the comments because other mums can read them and you know get some ideas too as well as me um do go follow me on instagram and inshallah i will see you guys very very soon take care bye